So in your business, do you know whether or not you're actually a visionary or an integrator? Hi, my name is Aaron Farrell with Sellers Arena. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about how you can determine your particular strengths. So that way you can leverage them directly towards your business and hopefully leverage them to create more growth and better organization and also more alignment in your company. Stay tuned. All right, so you might be asking, what exactly do I mean by your particular roles in your company? So the first thing that I'm going to start off by talking about is actually another book by Gina Wickman called Rocket Fuel. And if you haven't read Rocket Fuel in a business, especially if you have more than just yourself, if you're not just a solopreneur, this book is going to be definitely life-changing for you. And if you are a solopreneur currently, well, unfortunately, Unfortunately, and fortunately, you're actually going to be playing both roles in the company, at least until you're able to bring on kind of a dynamic duo, right? Or actually be able to bring in someone from the outside that's either a partner or an employee that's going to help you do something that's maybe not necessarily your strength. So what are these different roles? So the first role is actually called the visionary. And what a visionary does is basically kind of what it sounds like right? He's listed out inside of the book, different common roles. So basically he says they're number one, the entrepreneurial spark plug. They're an inspirer, they're a passion provider, they're a developer of big ideas and big problem solving activities. So basically you're kind of constantly thinking up new ideas in your company, then chances are you're probably more of a visionary type. Now, just because you're a visionary doesn't necessarily mean you can't be the other role but that's a good indicator if you are constantly coming up with new ideas or you're not able to find the time to actually implement them well then you're probably a visionary the other thing is you know someone that basically creates big external relationships someone that closes big deals the learner the researcher the discoverer and ultimately the person that sets the company vision now some of the common challenges in this role as mentioned in the book, is that you're essentially going to have inconsistencies, organizational whiplash, or the head turn. So every time you see something new, the shiny new object, you're kind of stopping what you're doing, trying to implement that next thing, kind of like grass is greener mentality almost, where you got so many different ideas that you just don't know which one to really focus in on and prioritize. The other thing is, it says dysfunctional team, a lack of openness, honesty, lack of clear direction or under communication so maybe you're doing things where you're not communicating to the rest of the team very clearly and you need to work on that sometimes eyes bigger than the stomach basically meaning that you're constantly seeing something that you want to achieve and you want it done yesterday <laughs> instead of actually giving it time to bake and you know actually be implemented within your company very fast mover people and a lot of times even ADD of course we're not trying to diagnose anyone here but I've noticed from myself because actually as the CEO of the company I would probably classify myself as more of a visionary now I also have a little bit of integrator qualities which is the next thing that we're going to be talking about but for the most part you know very visionary focused someone that's always kind of coming up with new ideas and really I need kind of the yin and the yang right so I need someone to help balance out and organize my constant new ideas and everything that's up in my head so that's where actually i've got my business partner nick that's more of the integrator type you know in terms of integrator just to kind of list off some of these things basically they're generally responsible for communication resolution you know focus accountability team unity well-managed projects follow through tie-breaking things like if there's something that's a big decision the other thing is you know execution and kind of the glue holding everything together, right? Because if you were just kind of thinking in the clouds all the time and constantly thinking about new ideas but not actually executing on them, then you would not have a business, right? And some of the common challenges on the integrator
creator side is that the job can be somewhat thankless. Maybe you're constantly running the business and you're not necessarily getting the recognition or the thanks that you feel like you deserve. Maybe sometimes seen as being the negative person or the hole poker where maybe the visionary is bringing all these ideas and as an integrator, you're having to shoot them down. And maybe, you know, that's frustrating to the visionary that is constantly moving and constantly wants new things, new innovations. And then, yeah, could also be seen as the bad guy or bearer of bad news, having to do the dirty work for people and basically getting lack of recognition. So these are just kind of the common roles and common challenges with, between both a visionary and an integrator. There's a lot more to this, obviously. And if you dig into the Rocket Fuel book, he lays it out in a very digestible easy to understand way uh, you can also get it on ebook which is actually how i consumed it just to be able to kind of bust through it about a four hour listen so not too extremely uh bad you know to, to actually come out with a lot of these realizations but i guess the next part is once you've identified that how do you kind of execute on this or how do you basically take inside of your company and structure a way to where the visionary in the company is actually able to fulfill that role and the integrator and the company is also fulfilling their end of the bargain so this is again if you already have a business partner and you're looking to kind of put this into use well once you've identified kind of what you are based on the different character traits then you will actually have clarity around both you know the traits of the visionary and the traits of the integrator so that way you can right your wrongs so to speak right if you realize that as a visionary you're not being very organized and that's frustrating to your integrator well maybe you need to step up and try to be a little bit more organized maybe as an integrator you know visionaries constantly dropping new ideas and then you're forgetting them or they're not being tracked or monitored anywhere well maybe you want to implement some sort of system for those ideas to go out and put them in place and have them easily accessible by the visionary so that way they know that you know their ideas aren't really just going to the wayside they're not just being discarded they're actually being considered but at the same time the integrator is kind of the grounding force for the visionary telling them what is possible and what's not possible at the current moment. So it doesn't necessarily mean that some sort of new initiative might not be available for you, you know, in the next three months or six months, right? But it does mean that maybe in that particular week or that particular month or quarter even that you really have to hone in and focus on other initiatives and by bringing in this other stuff it's really just kind of a deterrence you know it's like causing more harm than it is good causing your team to be overloaded for example so all of this is really you know kind of a balancing act more or less but once you've identified whether or not you're a visionary or integrator then you can now work much more harmoniously you can be in more in alignment with each other be frustrated with each other less right and i guess just to kind of end this off in terms of solopreneurs out there because i know for myself when i first got started into amazon you know i wasn't lucky enough Enough to have a whole team that helps support me right so in the very beginning and also in the very beginning of our agency really we had to kind of do everything ourselves but I did still have a little bit of a team you know in the very beginning as well so it, was, it wasn't a complete solopreneur journey but in the past I've also you know when I've sold things um, been more of a solopreneur and what I found out is that really I mean I do have traits of both I've got visionary is like the main thing that I am but the integrator is also something that I thrive and excel at because I previously used to be an engineer but I do remember in my engineering position I would always be sitting there thinking up new ideas or basically spending 40 hours trying to figure out how I could automate away maybe a 10 minute task right so really it just comes down to you know when you're a solopreneur really starting to identify these things like what are the things that you really love to do where where do you feel and kind of flow so to speak where you're constantly working on something and it really doesn't seem like work well once you've identified that now you know kind of your strengths and then you also might be able to become aware of your weakness 
classes as well maybe you've noticed that you're not very well organized or maybe you just don't really think up a lot of new ideas but you're great at actual execution well you want to play to your strengths so when you're finding a new partner or maybe even just hiring an employee that comes in and tries to help you with things they're actually starting to take these roles over and that way you can focus on you know your best abilities and where you add the most value to your company hopefully this video is definitely informative for you guys uh, i know i've learned a lot from gina wickman both in rocket fuel and his book traction which i've done another video on previously but hopefully you guys can take some of this information and either grab the ebook or grab the audiobook and start listening to it and implementing some of these things or you can at least walk away from this video kind of with a better understanding of what your core abilities are and where you kind of thrive the most and you can start playing to your strengths rather than your weaknesses and if you've got some value from this video i'd really appreciate if you gave us a like hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified of other videos just like this one and i'll see you on the next one peace